you brought every year brought a group of diverse students to Wichita, USA. And, you know, we'd go out wherever we, you know, restaurants, whatever. But for you to take it upon yourself to do that is just admirable, for lack of a better word right now. Can you share why you did that and why other organizations or groups should do that as well? Absolutely. And I can't take full credit for that. That actually is funny that you mentioned that. The way that came um, to birth was, uh, I can't remember what year it was. I think 2015, the Wichita Bar Association had its 100-year anniversary. Okay. And so Dennis Weta of our firm got tasked with writing the portion of the 100-year anniversary book about the black lawyers in town um, throughout the history of the 100-year anniversary. And so I'm like, okay, well, I think what about the black attorneys that are here right now? We need to be in that book. And so me, um, uh, the Honorable Judge uh, Gwen Berzer, who's a federal magistrate judge, mm-hmm. Ed Watson, partner over at Folsom Seafood, we kind of got together. And so to, to, we got a list of who we think all the black attorneys were in town. And so we got together, got some photos, got in the book. Uh, but from that list, we ended up um, getting together for breakfast, which we've turned into a monthly breakfast. So we've been having the first Saturday of every month, um, all the black attorneys that we know here in town and, you know, students, potential students, even high school students, people that have interest in, in going to law school or a legal uh, profession. So we just get together at various places on the first Saturday of every month and bring people in kids and expose them to the fact that you can be a lawyer, mm-hmm. you know, because a lot of times, you know, I never thought I could be a lawyer. It never even dawned on me for a long time. Uh, but it was it was from those breakfast meetings that we had that we decided to start bringing law students down. The reason we started bringing law students down because the common refrain that we get about the lack of diversity is, hey, we don't have any potential candidates mm-hmm. or, hey, we don't have any viable options. And so when we walk in and, and so we we decided to do this around the Bar Association annual annual event, which is Judges Day. Okay. Where it's a day of, you know, relaxation. They go out and play golf and skeet shooting and pool and all these different things. But it culminates in a barbecue uh, 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 at Botanica. So we go to Botanica at 530 and have a barbecue. And so that was the idea. We walk in there with 15 to 20 black law students. And it's like, okay, now here's your viable candidates. They're right here in front of you. So, right. So they're right here and, and giving those kids the exposure. But in addition to bringing them down, so while they're, the other attorneys are playing golf and doing their thing, uh, Mark Bennett, the DA, has always been gracious to host us for an hour. So we go see Mark Bennett. We put the students in front of wow. him. Uh, he tells them his criteria of what he's looking for to hire someone. Uh, we do the same thing with um, the, the uh, state public defender's office. Okay. Go over there and give them some exposure of people that might be able to hire them if they want to do that type of work. And then we end it um, and, and we keep these kids overnight. And like you said, you know, put them up in the hotel. And we meet folks like you and Ebony and others and, you know, go down, have a good time down mm-hmm. in Old Town, show them what that's all about. And then that following Friday, um, go out to Folsom see if you can have lunch and have uh, private attorneys come in for exposure. So we try to pick, you know, governmental workers, private lawyers, tell them what the criteria is, what they need to do, try to give them some knowledge and skills about what they need to do to be able to get hired. 